So this is how to remove the crappy wireless charging port from the Trasani height adjustable desk. And I might have said that name wrong. Um, there are three screws, three little Phillips head screws that you'll have to get out from underneath. So the first step is grab a hold of the wire. This will be tucked up. Just give this a little tug. There's a connector. You just push the little release and then you can separate the two halves. I can't do it while I'm holding my phone. There's two Phillips head screws, one here, one here. You'll have to remove those. And then there's a third one. So one here, one there. And there's a third one on, behind this piece of metal that you can't quite get to. And removing all of those screws doesn't help you. Once you get the first two out, you can kind of get the port, just pry it up a little bit. And then using two hands, you can grab from above and below. And I'm gonna get my assistant to hold the camera here. From above and below, you can twist it enough that you can then get that third screw right here and remove it. So, word of caution while you're working on this because you're going to touch the up and down buttons while you're playing around either engage the lock here so it doesn't move or simply unplug the desk is probably the best course of action. Now that I get the third screw out, you can see the wiring in and then you can get this piece out from the underside and you can bring the cabling up here. Assistant's gonna hold the camera, assistant. So just push the little release tab. You can see that it the pawl goes up and then you can unplug the failed wireless charging unit. And you can get the replacement wireless charging unit, which you've conveniently purchased from Amazon. There's lots of links and lots of details on it. It fits a 30 millimeter hole, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it was. Um, I simply recognized it by the plus up on top, that symbol. And it's just gonna snap into place, two tabs. So you can drop the wiring through and then simply push it down and click it into place. And then this is USB. So if you were in handy, you could cut the connector off of your dead one. Take your, cause there's four wires in the USB. They'll be those same colors. You can cut the USB head off and hardwire it in. I'm not going to do that. In this case, I'm going to use the two USB charging ports on the side. That way when this one dies, it's easy to replace. So correction, it is a 60 millimeter hole. This one's got a nice port that goes straight down and you can just set it in place, lock it in. It does have two ears that will catch the table. Um, if you are going to need to replace this one, you can remove those ears also with a Phillips head screwdriver. So it wouldn't be terrible to have to replace. You can just set it in, get it square, push it down and it locks in. So it is plugged in or put in place. Now I will plug it into the side. Go ahead and set it on there. And we get wireless charging. Okay, here's final installation. It looks nice in place. I just wrapped the cord around to the USB connector. I will cut the wires and change that later. I tied the excess cord up to the bundle already underneath there. You can see how it routes in. Here's the old connector that I'll use for power later on. So there's the new connector in there. Um, everything ties up nicely. And it works. So that's a good thing. Here's the dead soldier that we've replaced. 
this wire harness actually there's a connector inside here as well so when you have these three screws that's them there one of them again will be hidden behind the metal bracket so you just got to twist it around um, pry this piece this ring up with your fingernails from the top side and you can get a good enough grip on it to turn it and in this connector again there's another plug on the inside here that you can use so I will cut this to pieces and put it into a regular USB connector so it looks more professional underneath and I won't use this outside USB plug at that point but it works everything is good and that's the end of it